Okay, one little job we have to do before we go into Unity is change this because you remember we altered the UVs on this little stump, on this little root down here. So we need to fix that in the main tree model. So come in here, just change this to the name of it, just HD Oak Tree 02, and just put old on the end. So, so we know which one's which. So that's the old one, and we're going to hide that. I'd select it and we're going to import merge go to your folder your meshes folder um, high detail and there's the trunk there so bring that in open open so make sure you select it or click on all down there click OK uh, use the scene material and there we go it should just replace it like that and just to double check that we've got it's in the same place as the other one just unhide all um, and that looks fine so they're both on top of each other now and that's perfect so what we want to do is select over here our old one there it is like that and delete like that so we're just left with the same thing again and now click and now save back there and you can also save into your unity folder as well in fact we'll copy from there and then we'll jump into unity so we're going to meshes high detail and there it is there high detail 1a i think that's what i call it right click copy go back to your unity assets meshes high poly and it should be in here there it is high hd oak tree 01a so right click paste replace the file pink okay let's go into unity i'll see you there okay so here we are uh, here we are in unity it's got still got the old texture on there that I created before. Uh, obviously, the UVs have changed and lots have changed. Lots of things have changed, so we just need to change the material that is on this on this tree. And you can see it's tree bark standard. And so, so we, what we want to do is just delete these. That's already on there, uh, just so we can see what we're dealing with. Um, Go to high poly, yeah. So there's that. So we go in here. I just want to get rid before we bring in any new ones. Get rid of the old oak tree uh, textures. One thing we're going to have to start doing is is clean up this folder here because it's getting really full with textures now. So I might start categorizing them. Just sort out this texture materials folder uh, into different categories um, okay so where is our oak tree textures they don't look like they're in here actually mm, oh there they are okay so let's get rid of these that one that one that one and that one let's delete those four because I don't want them confused with the others so delete gone okay so now our oak tree hasn't got any textures and you can see it's gone off the other one as well so they were the correct ones okay so we've got tree bark here this is one just to double check that we all look at the right one yeah so that is the uh, correct material so now we just bring in all the new textures for the oak tree and here they are these are the ones we just exported from Substance. So we're going to get all those and we're going to drag them all in. Like that. So they appear. Okay, so where are they? So, so oak tree. Right then, so let's get to our material again. This tree bark is there. So let's get our oak. Let's put our albedo in, make sure it fits okay. Okay, so that's our albedo. You can't really see anything yet. In fact, 
let's just try something. I want to show you something before we do that. Let's just take that out. Let's put a normal map in first this time. Um, we need to tell. Cool, that's a bit noisy, isn't it? We need to tell. That is a normal map. Apply. Very noisy. Okay, so let's just put that in first because that's interesting. It will show up. Let's just put on normal. There you go. Shows up what our tree will look like before we put any other materials in. And that's quite cool. That sh just shows the impact a normal map has on a model. Pretty cool. Okay, so now let's drop in the others. Uh, chunk, albedo, dunk. There we go. Nice. Okay. Don't worry, we are going to sort of play with it some more. So, so you can see our stump has come out there. Okay, so let's get our metallic in. Uh, which would be that one. Yep. So we drop that in. I didn't change much because it's not. See, sometimes I don't bother with the metallic because, um, you know, it's, there is no metal in it. So I you might as well just have it switched off, basically. Oh, it's looking pretty damn good, actually. I'm quite pleased with that. It's quite dark. Um, but that's that same thing with substance. I don't know why it tends to do that, bring it in a bit darker than you'd expect it to. See, it's done the same with the roughness again. See, I think there's a problem with our metallic in that. Yeah. Okay, this time it, it would be fine. But I think it was flipped in the wrong way. Okay, so that's really nice. Okay, so what else have we got? Yeah, so we can put that in. See what that see if that makes any put that in the occlusion. You know, you probably don't really notice it, but it's there. And let's try the height and see if yeah, that popped. Height map makes it look weird and distorted. I'm not convinced. I can you can see the effect it's having. I don't like height maps. So good for height maps are really good for things like <clears throat> sort of solid stone slabs and things like that. They're not really good for nature and, and wobbly objects like this. Um, yeah. So what I might do is just take my albedo into Photoshop and brighten it up because it's quite dark. And you know, there's nothing in here I can do to brighten it up. I could probably try just changing this, changing it. Let's try changing it. Should create a bark gloss. No, that just looks weird. Let's just. Turn that back to standard. Okay, so let's leave it on standard. Let's just go and have a run around and see what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, it does look like an old oak tree, and the shadow, the leaves, shadows of the leaves are speckling across it to make give it that extra sort of weird wobbly look. And the moss up there. On the branches look pretty convincing so i might yeah i might just add more up there we've got a little patch there a stump going out of it there all in all it's a pretty good oak tree look at that nice big chunky bark i like that a lot mossy and what we can do or what i'm gonna do is build some mushrooms and things like that and some ivy 
and I'm going to you know plaster this with, with nature basically and the earth bits are painted around the bottom blend in quite nicely yes yeah, so all in all that's a good looking tree so things to do to this brighten up the albedo that's pretty much it really. and decorate it and that is our oak tree done that's interesting so now you can see our branches for our decals are much lighter than the branches on the oak tree so we need to address that as well and that's easy easily done still up in sort of uh, I'm high mid 60s, uh, 66, 65, yeah. Frames, that'll be the next one. We're going to do this one next. Um, in fact, you can do that one. I'm going to do mine. I'm going to show you how I did it, but I'm not going to take you through the process like I did with this one because it's just too much work. And the videos will just go on and on and on. I'm sure you'll get bored watching me do the same thing over and over again. So you see me create this one do the same to that one and all the other trees in here in fact and um, that's going to be a great screenshot when we've, when we're finished that oak tree Okay, so that's it for now. I'll see you in the next lecture. And uh, show me your tree. I'll see you in the next lecture.